Land Mouse. What's up everyone? It's the one Jamie. Today we are playing Boros Pia down with new stuff from Whoa, we have Heart Flame Duelist and Virtue of Loyalty, and we also have a cheeky house mouse. The the really good part about the this set for this deck is that you get adventures. Cheeky House Mouse, an adventure card that makes a creature get plus one, plus one, and skulk for creatures with power three or greater. Can't be blocked by power crap power cre cre power three or greater this turn. We also have Heart Flame Duels that deals three damage to any target with Heart Flame Flash, and then you can cast it back out of exile with, with as a 3-1 that says instant and sorceries you control have lifelink. And when you cast them back out of exile, um, this triggers again, making another 1-1 one, one Thopter. We have Virtue of Loyalty that also is an adventure, but it's an enchantment. You make a 2-2 two, two for one and a white, and then for five mana, you can cast this, and then it also triggers Pia, and at the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control and untap them. So it seems like a really good way to close out the game, so... I am including that in this deck. So anyway, I really hope you like it. The deck list, as always, is in the description below. This is during early access streamer event as well. So thank you, Wizards, for inviting me to this. Let's go ahead and get into the matches, and it all starts right now. I'll keep this. So... Land Mouse... Beanstalk Worm, play additional light. Oh, I didn't know that card existed. Nice. Scalding Viper, return non land permanent. Like in order to win the game, we have to let them keep the freaking Bramble familiar. Hey, love dev. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. We had a good game earlier. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value three or less, it deals one damage to the player. Prowess. Creatures with power less than this power can't block it. We finally drew a land. So... We don't... They don't have a land. So let's just do this on this because we know they don't have a land. Unless they have a counter spell right now. Okay. They did draw land for turn. What's the name of the prowess card? Elusive Otter. Alright, so I think we're going to play this and try to hit a land. Perfect. Then we can start getting life back with the Heart Flame Duelist. And this card's annoying.
Double lightning strike the Grand Squall? I guess we could have played the invasion, but the Grand Skull was really good. 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> could have played invasion and exiled all of these. Maybe that was better. Um... I am taking a lot of life from these stupid vipers. We're going to play Virtue of Loyalty. might lose to these freaking vipers. I should have played this pre-combat. I forgot that I, that I would make one with haste. It should be at five. That thing has reach. Two reachers. Invasion. That's pretty good. I do go to five for this. These scalding vipers are literally scalding me. Play the lock whale, yep. Resolve. 
If I play out the Heart Flame duels and I attack them, I go to three. I do this, point it at them, go to three, make a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blockers to seven attackers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. This on this because I have lifelink. Unless they have lightning strike in hand. Okay, go to six. Play out the duelist. Go to four. Make a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that puts him to one. Unless I play Felden. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can block two flyers, they take three automatically. Oh. I'm just being dumb. I'm over here thinking all of their creatures have reached when there's just two of them. Nice. Oh god, it's this guy. What's up, Josh? Quick chat, look the other way. <laughs> we have our mouse. We'll attack with it. Or we won't. Wow, this deals one damage? Good thing I played a thing with one toughness. I think I'm just playing out a 3-1 here. I totally expected that to get countered. Oh, it's... Oh, wow. Frolicking familiar. If they play a 4-4 Trample, I'm going to cry. Virtue of Strength. Ouch. You want to play this? Because next turn we can go PNLR plus Heart Flame Duelist. Do they have the whale?
Do they have the well? They do have the well. I'll keep it on top. So I'll go this plus the adventure half of this. And then next turn we'll go Pia plus Heart Flame. Aquatic Alchemist. When you cast your first instant sorcery spell each turn, it gets plus two plus zero till end of turn. Could have attacked with these, but I didn't want them to cast any instant of sorcery and then eat this in combat. We're gonna cast a whale here. Maybe. What is Stormkelt Vanguard? Destroy an artifact or enchantment, and then it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Hey, look, lands. with everything and then they go to two and then we have two flyers or they can just go to one This isn't a team of adventures that has Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borrower and Beanstalk Giant and Love Struck Beast. This is a whole different kind. It bounced my haste creature. I think with all these adventure cards, they just wanted them to be weaker than the ones in regular Eldraine. How about a land? We like that? Didn't even need to draw spells. When it gets sways for the second time. Play off the pick because we have a second one. All right, please don't have second ossification. Oh no, Aura ETB's draw a card. Just got back, how was the Jun deck? It was pretty good, really fun. Well, unfortunately we don't draw a land. You see, before we cut a land, we were flooding. We cut one land, and we just can't draw a, fourth, a third or fourth land. Cathar's Call. What does that do? Gives it Vigilance and make a 1-1 one -one at the beginning of the end step. Cheeky Mouse. I 
I hope they don't have protection. Oh no, there's a stop. There's a stop. I have to play this or I'll lose it. Which means I probably should have just used the adventure part on trying to kill that. Instead of casting the Swiss Spear first. When you have combat, you can pay one and attach a... Attach a oh, wow. This is a continuous... Free enchantment every turn. They're leaving up one mana, which is super sus. I knew it. So as hexproof ward one and vigilance. Oh no, the I that card's really scary. Oh, I kill that. Can you block the power clear three or greater? We can go house mouse. All of these just get blocked by the vigilance creatures anyway. I forgot these had Ward 1. Oh well. Man, that spellbook vendor plus tingle spin lookout's really freaking good. So much value. Of course I draw land. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attackers. One, two, three blockers. Eight attackers, three blockers, five damage gets through. Gotta do the old Kamehameha. We got there. Exaxes. 
sick. Felden's a good draw. See, this is why I don't like sundown, sundown Pass. Actually, not gonna range resolve this turn because I might want to. I Ganjo their three three creature here. Yep. Probably gonna play with fire. No, I'm not gonna play with fire. Their face. Oh, Pia. Nice. Really want to land. Probably gonna play with fire their face so I can go Pia Lightning Strike next turn. Or I might just go Heart Heart Flame Duels play with fire. Scoundrel. My turn, huh? I think this is just lethal. We didn't get to do cool PS stuff, we got to do cool burn stuff. Time to house mouse. Hey everyone, it's Saffron Olive. Overgrown farmland. Raging battle mouse. Second spell you cast each turn costs one less. Celebration. Beginning of combat on your turn, two or more non-life runners ETB'd. Third creature you control gets plus one, plus one. Try to hit a land, I guess? I'll trade. No trades for him. Godric. Oh, that's a Haster 3-3, three, three, right? Pia. Triggers. Nice. We did it. It only took three Swiss beers. All right, in conclusion, I'm going to say that this build is just a little bit underpowered and opponents were just doing things bigger than us. And this card isn't good enough to be a card that you want to exile for the adventure clause and just play out as a two one on turn one when you don't have a one drop. It's just much better being Kumano faces Kakazan and um, some of the other car other cards that Mono Red's playing. Um, Reckless Impulse and Range Resolve are really good with PNLR, but one of the problems with this deck is that it's really hard to win when you don't have PNLR. So um, take that with what you will. Uh, if you want to try out this deck for yourself, maybe make some changes, check it out in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.